Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at the RSA conference. It's like 40,000 people, security people, talking about security. It's a new age in security with all the things that happened with the election and all types of uh, interesting phishing attacks and a lot of professionals here trying to stop the problem. So we're excited to be joined by our next guest, Ian Fu. He's the Director of Product Marketing from Huawei. Ian, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Jeff. It's good to be here. Uh, glad to join everyone here. It's pretty exciting, very busy. Yes, yeah, very busy. Yep, we're here, sure. Uh, you know what Huawei has to offer in the market and in, uh, in what we're highlighting this year at RSA. Uh, there are three main areas that we're trying to bring, uh, bring attention to. One of those is the, uh, the latest in our terms of our functional capabilities and offerings in our network security portfolio, so network security devices. Uh, the other is what we're doing in our ecosystem partnership. We're expanding our partnerships, trying to build an ecosystem with uh, industry leading partners to be able to bring uh, better value to the end users and to our customers. And the third is what we're offering in terms of new platforms and capabilities and technologies in our innovation in cloud infrastructure security, helping cloud providers or enterprises add security to their private cloud or their cloud service uh, infrastructure. All right, so let's unpack those a little bit. Sure. So the first one really is cloud. You yes. know, with, with obviously with the rise of AWS really driving public cloud, yep. there's no longer a question in apps like Salesforce. Right. You know, the enterprise is pretty comfortable with cloud. Right. How has that really changed your world from a security perspective, supporting public cloud providers, yep. private cloud providers, and then of course, you know, hybrid cloud inside the, the enterprise that still want to deliver kind of cloud agility, cloud flexibility. Right. right, so it's actually changed the landscape in quite a few ways. When we move from traditional security within the enterprise and expand that to cloud service providers and enterprises trying to build private cloud, we're looking at a few things that have um, evolved. We're looking at scale, first and foremost, that's the one that pops into most people's mind. Now, especially in a cloud service provider environment, we're providing services to potentially thousands of customers. Scale, reliability, availability becomes critical. Uh, those are areas that we've traditionally excelled in, but what's evolving is the way threats are addressed, they're recognized, and the way policy is pushed within those environments. So for their customers, cloud service providers are looking for ways to be able to provide uh, policy capabilities that match what the enterprise is used to in their environment. So we try to build the technologies and tools to enable those cloud service providers to do exactly that. Provide right. enterprise class compliance security capabilities, uh, defense against DDoS attacks, within their cloud infrastructure for those enterprises. Yeah, it's interesting in the keynote, they talked about you know, every, every company has at least one person that will click on anything, right? right. And right. they also talked about kind of the increased uh, attack area of people's homes, because right. a lot more people now work from homes, right? Correct. They're accessing the corporate networks, the yep. corporate applications from that's their right. home, from the coffee shop, on their Absolutely. phone. So that's changed the, the, the landscape quite a bit. And, right. and yeah, not yep. to mention the cars. Yep. Yeah, so that, that absolutely has. Again, it goes back to what I mentioned earlier, uh, scale. So now we're looking at a widened threat base or a widened uh, threat surface, if you will, when, especially when it comes to not just consumers from mobile devices, home access, but now IoT. And when we expand IoT to both, you know, um, to the industrial IoT as well as consumer IoT, what we're seeing is many more entrance points into what we consider the uh, enterprise space. Right. And so now securing all of those points of presence and applying a multi-layered approach to security becomes much more complicated. And that's where we try to develop the technologies and innovations driven by our customers to help them solve those problems. Right, which also kind of drives into one of your other points is ecosystem. Right. right so we, we cover Absolutely. a lot of tech shows. We go to 100 shows a year. And everyone's trying to build an ecosystem because you can't just do it alone. That's and one right. of the big themes that came out again out of the keynote is this idea of yes, we compete. Yes, right. there's 40,000 people here. I don't even know how many com companies. Right. But we compete on different places, but if we share bad guy information That's effectively, correct. efficiently, it helps us all out in keeping our customers safe. Ab absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, it's all about ecosystems um, because I think for a true uh, multi-layered approach, multi-perspective approach to security, it, it's all about teamwork, right? And as you said, we can't be uh, an expert at everything. We have to recognize, each vendor has to recognize where their strengths lie, where their fortes are, where their expertise is, and then partner to complement that to provide that multi-layered approach that the end user's looking for. Right. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, here we've announced quite a few partnerships. We've aligned with uh, notable names in the industry, such as uh, Intel McAfee, Avira, um, Algosec, and we're working with companies like Firemon to help build that ecosystem partnership to create that team effect right. in providing multi-layered approach, best in breed, multi-layered approach to security in the enterprise. Yeah, interesting, this morning, I don't know if that was breaking news or, or I just was behind the news, that McAfee's actually going to spin out of Intel and be a wholly owned company. Yeah, I heard a, heard a little bit about that. Yeah, it's interesting, interesting. There's, it's a very dynamic industry, constantly changes ongoing here and there. Right. Um, that's, that can be great, it allows people to focus in certain ways, but yeah, there's 
not surprising, there's constant changes in the right. industry. But then the, the one thing that stayed the same but is still growing in importance, even with cloud, you still have the enterprise data center. Absolutely. Right, and those things continue to grow and are very, very important, and, right. and there's just a lot of stuff that's not going to make it to cloud. So how have you seen kind of the, the enterprise data center uh, eco, not, uh, kind of situation change with yep. these new threats, with clouds, with hybrid? Right. Well, so what we're seeing, especially in the enterprise data center, is we're seeing an evolution from traditional uh, firewall security, which is still necessary, but we're seeing that you know, the attacks and the entrance points are becoming more sophisticated. We're seeing a progression in ransomware and advanced persistent threats. It goes back to what you said before. Uh, a component of that is that there's always going to be that guy that clicks on anything, right. and you know, it could, who knows what that thing could be. So what we're seeing there is an evolution of security awareness to the point of uh, customers asking for awareness to applications, to files, to contents. So to that notion, uh, some of the things we're announcing here and sharing with uh, our customers and potential customers are technologies to help prevent ransomware. Um, our platform like our Fire Hunter a sandboxing technology, which uh, provides defenses against advanced persistent threats, as well as inline streaming-based security capabilities where we partnered, for example, with Avira. We complement our network-based security for streaming inspection of files and contents and streams. We complement that with their abilities in malware uh, and uh, signature-based recognition to provide a multi-layered comprehensive approach to deal with the new types of security right. threats we're seeing. So Ian, you've been coming to the show for a while, you've been in the uh, industry for a long time. Yep, been a bit. 40,000 people, what's kind of your take, uh, you know, kind of taking a step back from the specifics at, right. at kind of the evolution of the security industry. I think yep. one of the stats I heard the other day is like 1.5% of the IT spend was yep. for security, now that's up to like five or 10. Right, right. You know, it's, it's growing in importance, but the, the technology out in front of the securities is just rocking and rolling, and, right. and IoT and 5G is just the next Correct. kind of big wave Correct. coming. So, what's kind of your perspective as you, as you look back and you know, kind of look forward? Well, it's obvious, very obvious from just the numbers you were sharing that you know, rather than being peripheral to the business, security is now core to the business. Instead of just supporting business, it's become a key piece to being able to deliver business uh, reliably. And I think that enterprises have recognized that. Uh, what's happening is that we're seeing an acceleration in the evolution of threats, and the entrance vectors in the various areas, because of the uh, adoption rate and snowballing effect that we're seeing in technology in general. And I think that security has become better at trying to keep up with that pace rather than falling behind the curve as we have in the past. Mainly because enterprises recognize the, the relevance and importance of it. So we're no longer selling insurance when we sell security. We're showing business enabling value and how we protect brand recognition, brand capabilities for our end users and customers. It's a whole nother kettle of fish that we're not, we don't have right. time to get into right now, right. but we went to a presentation last night about the whole insurance angle on, right. on security, which is, uh, like I said, is a whole different kettle of fish. We'll save that for next time. So Ian, thanks for uh, stopping by. Right. Well, thanks for having us. Great being here with you and a enjoy the show. Absolutely. Easy and I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE from RSA Conference in San Francisco.